1986, Brittany, France. The Gimo brothers catch a glimpse of the future and launch Ubisoft. No internet, no emails, just a bunch of people and a passion for technology and games. Today, Ubisoft is a leader and innovator in the entertainment industry. But since Ubisoft can't predict the future, we need people ready to create the unknown. And Gilles Monte is one of those people. Meet Gilles. Hello. Also known as Sam Fisher, or Altair, or the Prince of Persia, and even Chorizo. <coughs> Curious? Let me explain. Gilles started working at Ubisoft in 1997, and 25 years later, we can say he helped put Ubisoft on the map with legendary action titles that defined an era of gaming. <laughs> yes, you did. But it all started with a misunderstanding, didn't it? Yeah. I thought I was applying to be a motion capture actor, but they thought I wanted to be an animator. Gilles was a graduate from a mime school and leading an experimental theater troupe. Yes, you heard it right. Mime and experimental theater. To animate or not to animate. Gilles knew nothing about digital animation, but he decided to give it a try. He learned to use a software he didn't know on a computer he wasn't familiar with. As he learned the ropes, Gilles also brought his unique vision of movement to this emerging field. At the time, animators had to use reference images like this one to create animations by hand. But Gilles didn't want to make animations more realistic. He wanted to make animation more emotional, more compelling. Thanks to evolving tech, games were getting bigger and more detailed. There was an opportunity to take animation to the next level. Pretty soon, Gilles helped found Ubisoft's first motion capture studio to get real actor performances and help bring memorable video game characters to life. Sam Fisher in Splinter Cell, The Prince and the Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time, Altair in Assassin's Creed. That was him in front of and behind the camera, helping create emblematic characters that defined a generation of games and set an industry standard with how they move. And Gilles was bringing more people along for the ride. This is Stéphane. Together, Gilles and Stéphane built one of Ubisoft's first animation teams in Montreal. Gilles really shaped the way artistic directors still think about animation today. He grew the team by seeking out different profiles, people who were willing to learn and try new things. Speaking of talent, here's Sonia. She was one of the people Gilles hired in Montreal. I was fresh out of school when Gilles hired me. I had learned the software, but Jill helped me learn the principles of animation by thinking about body language. He really was my mentor when I started my career. Remember how it all started with Ubisoft giving Gilles a chance? Gilles gave others a chance in turn. They did the same. Expertise grew out of trust, building a real animation powerhouse. Fast forward to today. Gilles is back in Montpellier, where it all started, developing tools and prototypes to put into the hands of animation teams around the world. His current project is to bring more life to NPCs, give them personalities and emotions thanks to handcraft mocap performances. Today, Ubisoft thrives thanks to veteran developers just like Gilles. I'm trying to do what I always did, having emotion into action. Did you like this story? Head over to jobs.ubisoft.com to hear more just like this one and maybe even take your first step towards creating the unknown with Ubisoft.